today I'm going to cover 10 of the examples for vector to 3D. Let's cover one by another. First challenge is a cute tiger that I already draw in Figma. So, which means it's already down by, uh, by the pen tool. So, uh, let's select them all the layers and click here. Plugins uh, Vector to 3D. If you cannot find it, uh, you can click Manage Plugins and uh, search for uh, Vector to 3D. You start this plugin, you will see this. Let's give a second so you to have uh, some initial uh, programs to run. Okay, so here we are. We can see the little tiger already here, but the details not quite good. <laughs> so um, let's see what we have here. So we have a, a, a render screen here. This is a real time render. So when you drag by your cursor, you can see this is a real time. But this window is a little bit smaller. So we can click here. It's 1024 and click the product okay so now we have a better qualities of the image and uh, let's see so if we click the empty space now the settings are for the global but if we select one of the elements then we will we are selected the uh, selection so all the settings are for the particular selections. So um, when we back to the global, we can see, uh, don't panic. This is not really crazy. This is a quite simple one. So if you don't have any experience in 3D design, this is okay. Let's uh, use this little tiger as a first example of the vector to 3D. First two is X2. By click the attitude, it will help us to execute the uh, uh, 3D model from the vector, but it looks like a uh, square, right? Second one is uh, inflate. So by click the inflate, it will be more like the uh, popcorn or uh, bread. See, uh, all the shape will become uh, very soft. Third one is revolved. By clicking revolved, the stuff will be uh, spinning and turn around like a like a, a circle. And if you are building a a, a vest or building a a wheel, it will help us. So this they are the key three um, tools for building three uh, D models. For our example, uh, let's click the inflict. Under the uh, in flick, we click the clip so that each element will be sitting in the right place in a Boolean shape. So now we are all good, I think. Uh, but we can make tweaks as well. See, if we want to make this nose a little bit forward, so we can click here and drag the purple one. Purple means that dimension. So don't forget we are editing an uh, image in three dimensions. So let's change a little bit and maybe we can tweak the hair as well. Yeah, it's cute, right? Already very nice. And uh, uh, for the face, uh, we can see now the shape is not quite nice, right? We want to change that. We can click the uh, extrude, so make it more, uh, make it flat. Yeah, basically, I think that's it. But now it's lack of the materials, okay? So let me click each frame here and click uh, material from here. This is a material panel. This is a really crazy one if you are first, uh, first here, but don't panic. We will uh, get into the each um, each panel, but now we can use the preset. 
So when we click the preset, we have a bunch of the very nice material that's already been set. So we can use the uh, default, which is the current uh, material. And also I prefer this um, glossy plastic. So we can see they are uh, reflections of the each object. I think that's quite nice. And uh, if you uh, are satisfied with it, then you can insert it to the Figma. But sometimes I got this a lot. People are wondering if they can get it for free. I think the free trial of the Victor to 3D are uh, limited. So if you want to have the full functionalities, you need to pay uh, these plugins. But don't worry, you only need to pay it once. So this is a lifetime uh, license for the uh, plugins. You can find it from here. Uh, now it's gone. So it says go to Pro, and um, you can click the button, go to their website, and uh, pay money by credit card. And after that, back to the software and type in the license from here. Then you're all set. Yeah. So uh, when we click the insert, now we have this little bit, little beautiful uh, image that's already inserted into the Figma. And uh, the quality is quite nice. So if you are showing off your abilities uh, for 3 d you can use these plugins. You can also switch the angle here a little bit. And sometimes we want a background, right? Sometimes we don't. So if you don't want a background, you can leave it. But if you do, you can click here. We have uh, three different uh, selections from the backdrop. So first is the wall, second is the ground, then third is none. So currently, this is, uh, belongs to none. And if we want a ground, uh, nothing happened. Yeah, I, I don't turn the this um, this this button yet. So let's change a little bit and changing the position. You can changing the position by click the sh uh, Swift. So now it's a little bit better, right? This is cute, right? So we click the insert. Once you click the insert and. Image, Im image will be inserted to the Figma, but sometimes we want to change the uh, like like the details or the settings. But do we need to insert again? No, you need uh, all you need to do is click the up updates in Figma. See, very convenient, yeah. And the one functionality is that we can click. Here, this button called the hot update. So when you uh, able the hot update, which means once you change all the uh, elements inside of the uh, Figma, let's see if the color changed to I don't know purple. Then immediately, uh, this plugins inside of the image will be changed uh, immediately. So let's go back by click the control Z. Yeah, now it's all set. <laughs> it's that easy, right? This is the uh, most easy 3D um, tools I ever used because this tools is not for the professional 3D artist, but for the UX and the UI designers. Uh, sometimes we have this. Um, request by creating a like a hero image for our product but sometimes we don't know the tool uh, to for create uh, 3d images but now we have this little cute plugins that can help us to create 3d models just by single clicks i think this is quite nice And also we can download the uh, PNG format for this image. 
if you're familiar with the 3D uh, design software like the Blender, like the uh, Camera 4D, uh, you will know this format. So you can, you are able to open this model inside of other 3D software, which is really convenient. And in the this button, in the Pro button, you can click the preference. So you can change the language to English or simplify Chinese. And also you can change the theme. Uh, now I'm setting it to system. So which means if my computer using the uh, dark mode, then this will become dark. Okay, we can also open the web GPU, but currently I, I didn't. So basically, I think that's it. Uh, this is for first, first example. I hope you like it. And the result is really cute, right? Let's go to the second one. Second one, we are creating this jelly icon. Okay. So first thing, we need to click this stuff. So all the elements we will need it are here. We start our vector to 3D plugin. So we have uh, this object here, and uh, this they are looks really cute. Now we have uh, those elements inside of our uh, software, and uh, let's change it a little bit. Okay, then we can also change the uh, thickness by uh, drag the. Uh, value from here See it's quite easy to control or you can type Okay, so basically that's it for this one. I don't want it to become like a, a bread So I need to make it more flat. So how can we do that? We can click here Now this looks better, right? Okay Let's change the uh, position of this object and uh, change this a little bit and then make it forward a little bit. Okay. And uh, this too, we can um, make the multiple selection by click the shift and uh, our cursor. And here, a little bit. Let's change the angle here. Okay, and uh, we can make uh, multiple selections and uh, use this uh, alignment tools. Okay, then we will give them a little bit uh, rotate. I think I want it to make it like line there. Okay, for the second one, I want it to be inside and click this and give a different material. Let's try maybe something like a glass. So let me try this one, empty glass. Okay, empty glass is quite nice. It's like the jelly, right? And then, and the background, we need to change the color of the background. So. Uh, click here, so we can pick up a, a nice background. I like this one, very fresh yellow background. Yeah. What about them? Let's give another materials like uh, glossy pl plastic. And about this one, maybe, I don't know, about the metal. Is the metal nice? Yeah, but uh, I want to change the reflection of this metal so we can uh, make tweaks so it won't be so clean like a mirror, right? Yeah, you can try to play with all the uh, values from here or you can simply click one of the uh, preset materials. Okay, basically I think we are here pretty much and click insert all right we create another very nice image just by that 
I think it's even better and maybe we can give a, a little material of this this bar and we click the updates in Figma here we are and uh, use the uh, image editor inside of the Figma to change it then use it in your interface and for the third one let's try to create this little cute cloud we already built up the frame so inside the frame we have a vector stuff here and we have a cloud outline of this cloud so they are separate then we click the frame see frame won't be reflect to the software so when we click the vector to 3d we won't be able to see frame and also we cannot see the uh, stroke you can add this stroke as you want but you won't be see it inside of the software okay we are here so we have this little cloud and we have this little um, background stuff and uh, we change the uh, thickness and the cloud the cloud make it upper side oh these clouds are quite nice so let's change the um, material of the uh, stroke of the cloud we can use the this glass contains many different colors which is like a rainbow I like it let's see and we can add the background to it and if we don't like the uh, result we can change the uh, objects and we can add the thickness here and we can change the um, this little box to the metal so we will be able to reflect the cloud uh, upside we can change the uh, background settings uh, this they are uh, distance here and uh, for the cloud let me change the cloud to uh, maybe this one this one's cute and the shell and uh, let's uh, change another uh, yeah now we can insert the image you may wonder how do we save our work when we click the frame we can click from here so it will save our preset to Figma layers so as long as you don't delay the Figma layers your work will be saved so next time you click here and open this uh, plugin you will see your work again all right so now we finish our uh, little cloud example let's move on